Greetings in Christ. I'm Pastor John Fritz from Hope Evangelical Lutheran Church, sharing with you a devotion from the excellent Return to the Lord daily devotion series for Lent from Concordia Publishing House. This Wednesday's devotion is entitled, Bait the Hook. Matthew 12, verses 33 through 42. Either make the tree good and its fruit good, or make the tree bad and its fruit bad, for the tree is known by its fruit. You brood of vipers, how can you speak good when you are evil? For out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. The good person out of his good treasure brings forth good, and the evil person out of his evil treasure brings forth evil. I tell you, on the day of judgment, people will give account for every careless word they speak. For by your words, you will be justified, and by your words, you will be condemned. Then some of the scribes and Pharisees answered him, saying, Teacher, we wish to see a sign from you. But he answered them, An evil and adulterous generation seeks for a sign, but no sign will be given to it except the sign of the prophet Jonah. For just as Jonah was three days and three nights in the belly of the great fish, so will the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. The men of Nineveh will rise up at the judgment with this generation and condemn it, for they repented at the preaching of Jonah, and behold, something greater than Jonah is here. The Queen of the South will rise up at the judgment with this generation and condemn it, for she came from the ends of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon, and behold, something greater than Solomon is here. Psalm 22, verse 6 says, But I am a worm and not a man, scorned by mankind and despised by the people. When fishing, the hook must be baited with something appealing, something that the fish will wish to eat. Not just any bait will do. Walleye do not respond to catfish bait, and carp do not pursue lures that were intended for muskies. An early church theologian named Gregory of Nyssa compared our ancient enemy the devil to a great fish. Christ Jesus our Lord hid his all-powerful divinity under the cloak of our human nature, presenting himself as bait to catch the fish. Jesus was the right bait. What could be more appealing to Satan than the one whom Satan hates the most, presented like fish bait in a reduced, wounded, pitiful form for quick consumption. Psalm 22 might even allow us to think of our Lord's cross as the great fish hook by which Satan was captured. I am a worm and not a man. Jesus, the worm that is, his appearance was so marred beyond human semblance that his form beyond that of the children of mankind. Isaiah 52, 14 was impaled upon the hook of the cross which Satan swallowed. What then is the resurrection? Our Lord landed the fish, turning it into a trophy. By Pontius Pilate crucified, he suffered on the tree and died. To show of Satan's reign the end, he did in two hell descend. The Lutheran Hymnal, 253, verse 3. Amen.